All right, welcome fellow scientists to the flipped classroom. So just as a little reminder, uh, treat this just like you would a normal class session. So whenever I write something on the board, then you need to write it down in your notes. When we take the test over chapters eight and nine, then I'll collect those notes and you'll get points for, for writing everything down. Besides the points that you already get for taking the quizzes on OneNote and everything like that. Um, and during the flipped classroom, remember your only homework is to watch these videos and to then go to OneNote and, and take the, the quick little short quiz just as an encouragement uh, to watch these videos and to and to write down notes um, so here we go go ahead and title this let's see wait first what color should i use black okay good that's what i heard so that's what i'm gonna go with because i'm the only one here haha <laughs> all right so go ahead and write down chapters eight and nine chapters eight and nine uh, chapter eight is all about photosynthesis And chapter 9 is all about cellular respiration. Cellular. All about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So those are going to be our two topics that, uh, that we talk about. And so just like if we were in regular class, we're going to start with our learning objectives, right? So what should you know kind of in the middle of January is when this... When this um, unit is going to end. And by the way, this is the last unit in semester one. So after this, then we'll start reviewing for our semester final and kind of like the final week of January, then we'll have a, a test over everything that we've covered uh, so far this year. But before that, we'll have like a week of review. So so nothing, nothing to get upset about uh, just yet. Um, so number one, both photosynthesis and cellular respiration are based off of something that I like to call the life equation. So that's something that you need to be able to explain. Well, first you need to memorize it, and then you need to be able to explain the life equation. So memorize and explain the life equation. life equation. We'll see as we go on. The reason why I call it the life equation is because all of life is based off of this chemical equation. This chemical. All right, so then learning objective number two, both photosynthesis and cellular respiration happen in specific organelles. Hopefully you remember those from chapter seven. So we're going to look at the structure. We're going to look in depth. We're going to zoom in even more into the cell. We're going to uh, look at and memorize the structure of a chloroplast, which is where photosynthesis happens, and of, of course, mitochondria, which is where cellular respiration happens. So we are going to memorize, I'll just use little ditto marks, that means, you know, see the word above. Memorize the structure of, the structure of a chloroplast. And a mitochondria. And Memorize the structure of a chloroplast and a mitochondria. Okay, so then learning objective number three, we're going to tackle photosynthesis first. So there are two steps for photosynthesis. So given a diagram of those steps, I my goal is that you would be able to describe the process, describe the two steps of photosynthesis. Describe the two steps, the two steps of photosynthesis. Describe the two steps of photosynthesis. Um, and then learning objective number four, moving on to cellular respiration. Cellular respiration has three steps, so it's going to be the same thing. Describe the three steps of, and then we'll go down here, cellular, cellular respiration. All right, sweet. So cellular respiration is how like normal cells, uh, specifically muscle cells, because they help us move, um, get energy. But there are conditions under which they don't have enough oxygen because cellular respiration needs oxygen to function. So in those conditions, then God has made kind of like a kind of like a sub path or like, OK, if this doesn't work, then we can do this. And that path is called fermentation. So step five, or learning objective five is you're going you're going to describe what fermentation is, 
why it might need to operate and what the benefit is to the organism. So we'll just kind of summarize that as hopefully being able to describe fermentation. Describe fermentation. Perfect. Um, and then our sixth one and our last one is that photosynthesis cellular respiration uh, has to deal a lot with ecology. Right, so it's uh, it's part of the carbon cycle. Uh, water is obviously involved in here as well, as we'll see when we look at the life equation, right? And we have um, autotrophs, and we have heterotrophs, and we have energy flowing through, and we have matter cycling through. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of relate this to ecology and food webs and energy pyramids. So hopefully, middle of January, you will be able to relate. I'll just say photosynthesis and cellular respiration abbreviations are totally fine. I highly recommend that you learn how to use those in your notes as you prepare for later on in high school and into college. Relate photosynthesis and cellular respiration to food webs, which is just a lot of food chains kind of all interconnected, right? To food webs and energy pyramids. and energy pyramids. All right, sweet. So then uh, in class, we always talk about, okay, so that's all good and well, right? And I want to get a good grade because I want to go to college, blah, 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 blah. But really, Mr. Leo, why should I care? Why should I care? And remember, the reason why we study biology is to study God's creation and to give him more honor and glory. So that why should I care like cuts throughout our whole entire curriculum, right? But specifically, why should I care about photosynthesis? Well, without photosynthesis, there would be no life on Earth because all of the food, all of the energy that we get is somehow based on photosynthesis. So why should I care? Photosynthesis. Without photosynthesis, there's no life on Earth. Without, there's another abbreviation. Without photosynthesis, then, so that equals no, no life on Earth, right? Um, and then talking about photosynthesis, right, carbon dioxide, it's a, it's a greenhouse gas, and global warming climate change has been in the news recently, obviously. Um, so we can, we can kind of use this as a, as a launching point, as a jumping off point, to talk about climate change and to, and to talk about the carbon cycle and to talk about what effect that's going to have on our world and on photosynthesis. So photosynthesis relates to climate change. Climate change, right? So that's kind of our, our why should I care for photosynthesis? And then why should I care for cellular respiration? Well, it's how your cells get energy. So I don't know about you, but I like learning about myself, hopefully. Um, so hopefully you do too. Um, so in looking at cellular respiration, it's how our cells get energy. We're learning about ourselves. So we, cellular respiration, cellular respiration is how, is how we get energy. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna we're gonna talk about there's we have the macromolecules, we have the lipids, and we have the carbohydrates, and carbohydrates are short term and lipids are long term, right? And so there's actually a sequence that your body goes through during a workout of okay, first I'm gonna burn this, and then I'm gonna burn this, and there's pretty generally accepted time frames, um, and there's different ways that you can train, right? And there's different types of muscle, and those types of muscle differ in their number of mitochondria um, and amount of cytoskeleton. Um, among other things. So we're going to talk about that in the hopes that maybe learning about cellular respiration and then analyzing that will change your workout, will make you a better, a more informed um, athlete. So it's going to make you a better athlete. Better. Better athlete. All right, so I'm Mr. Leo. This has been our learning objectives and why I should care introduction to chapters eight and nine, photosynthesis and cellular respiration. And I will see you on the flip side.